plaintiff, Nicholas Zelensky, met the defendant on a gay social media site, and they became good friends. Nicholas claims he soon realized that the defendant is filled with drama and likes to be the center of attention. He's suing him today for the cost of a laptop, internet service, and the cost of a trip. Defendant Arthur Cheney says throughout his friendship with Nicholas, he often showered Arthur with gifts, and eventually, he confessed that he was madly in love with Arthur. Arthur claims he and Nicholas went their separate ways after he rejected his advances, and he only admits to owing for the laptop. Let's start with you. I'd like to give a little bit about our background. Mm -hmm. When I graduated from college in 2010, I moved up here. I met Arthur on a gay social media network, and uh, as a sign language enthusiast, I as a what? Sign language enthusiast. Mm -hmm. I wanted to sort of reach out and find other people interested in sign language, and Arthur was interested in learning. So we started meeting by me teaching him a little bit of what I knew and him learning. We became really good friends. He was my best friend up here. And so um, it started to, I felt feelings for him. It started turning into a little bit more, but it wasn't very long until I learned that he's sort of a, a drama queen and a, uh, How so? and a, and a pretty boy. <laughs> He likes to be the center of attention. If we go out to the bar, everybody will be, everybody will be looking at him, giving him all the attention, buying things. He can't for help him. that. Exactly, right, Judge? That's what I'm saying. He can't well, that's help. That's thing yeah. for me. Yeah, he can't help that looking at him, <laughs> choosing him. You jealous of that? Possibly. I mean, it'd be nice to get some Just attention occasionally. <laughs> Just a little. Hey, go ahead. Got to be honest. <laughs> sure. It was at his birthday party later on that year that, and I mean absolutely no disrespect to the defendant, but I learned that he had very severe halitosis, and it was actually a chronic medical, medical <laughs> condition. <laughs> bad bad breath. breath? Yes. You say severe bad breath. Stank severe. breath. It, <laughs> stank breath. Yes. <laughs> it, and this is the first time you spoke to him within, I guess, a Definitely couple not. of feet? Definitely not. <laughs> Um, it was the first time that I had noticed it. That's why I knew sign language, so we wouldn't have to <laughs> <laughs> You got it. Good right. boy. Okay. <laughs> you back up and say, let's speak in sign. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, how did you all's relationship um, break up, if at all, your friendship? It, it ended up ending sort of just by trailing off because of the money issues Okay, that we had. let me allow him to speak before we get to the money issue. Well, Your Honor, I'd just like to say that your tie is impeccable. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, you can't be faulted just like I can't be faulted for our beauty. That's right. Anyway. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, I just want to say that I met Nick um, through Facebook. I actually was dating someone, and we broke up, and he's actually a sign language interpreter. And I reached out to Facebook saying, does anybody out there that would be able to help me to learn you know, sign language because I want to win my ex back? I you know, was in love with him, and I wanted to surprise him that I've been learning sign language. You wanted to win him back. Right, I wanted to win him back. So how did you have him in the beginning without knowing sign language? How, I throughout did, that exactly. love affair. Exactly, that's a good question. But we had each other for a while, and then it just fell apart. And, and I didn't thought do much maybe talking. that would win him back by you know learning some sign language. Didn't do much talking. Didn't do much talking. Right. <laughs> didn't do much help either. <laughs> All right. So anyway, Nick yeah. volunteered. He reached out and said that you know he definitely would help me out learning some sign language and. So we met every week, and then on Christmas, he lavished with me a bunch of gifts because he obviously was interested more than I was and took me out to the bar and spent lots of money on me a lot. And then finally met one night at a bar that he was totally in love with me, head over heels, and I shut that down real quick. I'm like, no, still in love with my ex. Not, so, not want nothing to do with you, and that's when we kind of went our own ways. Defendant Arthur Cheney was friends with the plaintiff until he confessed that he was madly in love with Arthur, and Arthur rejected his advances. He couldn't win your affection even after getting you drunk. Right. <laughs> That's usually the surest way <laughs> to get him drunk. Go right. ahead. So, um, yeah, eventually, you know, we just went our separate ways, and he just became this different person. We still talked, but he was just rude. We hung out, and he, he was actually rude to some of my deaf friends who he knows the deaf culture. You don't talk about them behind your back because that's just not deaf culture adequate. All right. Tell me how the lawsuit came about, the laptop Absolutely. and the Internet. The... So there are three things, laptop, internet, and the North Carolina trip. So the laptop was when Arthur wanted to go back to college, I wanted to help support him, and I allowed him to use my credit card in order to purchase the laptop. The laptop ended up being $439. When was this? This was in March of 2011. Okay. And it was discounted because of an agreement to take on internet service, which has a monthly fee. The agreement was to pay $15 a month until the end of the year. Okay. And then having gotten no money, I told him in December that it would be increased to $20 a month. 
for the remainder of the... How can you and increase it after there was an agreement? Exactly. Say, I think it, it was, was 15, but I think I want 20 now. Because the total, it was a $60 a month bill. Mm -hmm. So but no, order, let's go to the agreement. Yes. What was the agreement? The agreement was he was going to pay what he could. I and thought so you said the agreement was, was $15. Correct, $15. Well, that's different from pay what you could. Let's try it right. again. What was the agreement? Was to pay $15 a month. Okay, and then you tried to change it to 20 a month. Correct. Without a new agreement from him. I told him it was a verbal agreement in December. And did he agree to the new one, sir? He did, because... He said, I agree to the new $20 one? No. Correct. Because that's not what you told me earlier. But go right ahead. Perhaps you will do better in the rest of your testimony. <laughs> so he gave you $0? Correct. Okay. And what about this trip? Yes. So I won a free medical clinic in North Carolina at a charity auction, and I decided... You won an entire clinic. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. It would be a uh, an all-inclusive... <laughs> two or three day, I, I don't remember how many. At a clinic. It was like a retreat spa thing. Yes. A spa. Yeah, it was like a spa right, at Duke University. That's a big difference from Correct. Right. a clinic. <laughs> All right, so you want a three day trip to a spa. It was more medical than recreational, <laughs> but yeah. Tell me, describe the clinic. It was a gift for me and I went. Tell me what exactly they did. Right, so the reason he gave it to me is because I was depressed and I was trying to get over my ex. So he took me there because they give like, like saunas, and they, they have therapy sessions there that, you know, help you work through the problems. They show you ways to eat and treat your body well. You know, they, all these, like, yoga retreat things, and everything just basically take care of yourself. All right, but you say you gave it to him? I, I let him use yes. it instead of using it myself. <laughs> so how are you now suing him for it? It was not for that. It was for the four of us agreed to take a road trip to North Carolina to allow him to do that. Okay. And with that, we agreed to split the tolls, the gas, and the lodging. And how much did that come Five ninety nine Total. And his share was what? 150 All right. And what do you say to these two, three items? Well, I actually agree with the laptop. He did help me out with that, and mm -hmm. I totally agree. It's four, 439 I agree to that. Um, as far as the clear internet, that was all on him because I had internet. It was just because we got a cheaper addition. Did he already have internet? I had an no. internet practice house internet, and my witness wasn't right here reliable. Was like, I tested yeah, that. It wasn't reliable. That's what you're saying now. All right. And what about the trip? Uh, the trip was actually a gift he gave me on Christmas. He said that because I was trying to go over my ex, he said, I want you to, you know, get better and not be depressed anymore. So I'm going to send you on this went. trip. It was all inclusive. He said, we're all going to go. It was my friend, two friends, and me and him. Did anyone pay? No one has paid. And he's not approached them not once to get the money from them. It's only been from me. Sir? That's correct. It's because the sum of money. <laughs> <laughs> Why haven't you approached the others, sir? The, the sum of the money is a lot less greater than what Arthur owes me. All right, sir, your testimony is not coming across as credible. I'll grant you the $439 that he admits to owing. Have a good day. That's my judgment. I have records that show that you agreed to pay for the internet. You agreed to pay for North Carolina. I don't know why you feel like you should shouldn't. show the evidence, and I don't know why, you, what, why all this evidence you keep telling me that you have, I don't see it. Girl, get over it. Move on. Yeah, this is it. No more reasons to contact me, no more reason for anything. That's correct. This will be the end. That's fine. That's what I want.